today we're going to do a quick walkthrough on how to make a music visualizer using Visi.io. It's super easy. I'm going to just do a quick video. Um, I just exported a slowed down version of a song called Sunny and 62 by Mac Ayers. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. In any case, uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to kind of just jump in on, on this if this is something that you'd like to make. Uh, tons of templates here, so I'm just going to pick most popular just as a jumping off point here. Um, there's a lot of different styles. Uh, you know, Some of them are really loud in terms of presentation. Others are a little bit more subtle. I tend to prefer ones that are a little bit more subtle and not so crazy. Um, but as you can see here, we have a quite, quite a nice selection. Uh, I'll pick this one. This one looks all right. Um, and you can change any of the stuff that you see, right? So when you import or when you load a project, a community project, um, you're basically just bringing in some of the stuff that somebody's already worked on, but you're welcome to tweak it and make adjustments however you see fit. So for instance, we're going to hit play on this as soon as it finishes loading, uh, just so we can see what it looks like. Here we go. Let me just jump forward and see what happens here. Kind of a lot going on there. Not really feeling it for, for the vibe I'm going for. So let's change this up. So I'm going to go ahead and load some stuff that I've got here from before. Um, stuff that I worked on previously. Sorry, the UI for this is kind of in the way. Pardon me. Okay. And we're just going to go with... Here, we'll do this one, slow and hard. Don't ask. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and load this project and we'll use this as the baseline for uh, the, the project that we're working on here. So this has some built-in stuff that I worked on previously and I'm just gonna make some minor tweaks to this. So firstly, I'm gonna change the audio to the song that I exported moments ago. So let me just find it. Hopefully I can find it. Boom, it's gonna be in here and sunny there it is boom import that so if i wanted to export this at this point without putting any effort into it i, I certainly could do that but that's kind of lean um so i'm gonna just change this uh so here's what we got right now it's a little busy um, so I'm going to stop this and I'm going to uh, make a couple of adjustments here. So let's go back to composition. We're going to go to the spectrum. So the spectrum is uh, these guys right here. I'm going to get rid of these actually. Delete. Yes. We're also going to delete this guy here. Boom. All right. So now what we've got is this nice purple confetti, uh, the particle effect, which is nice. Uh, and then this background video, which I'm going to replace with something else. So I'm going to hit upload here. Boom. And I'm just going to go to this. Uh, I've got like this resource. some stuff that I've downloaded. Just, just to give you an example. So I'm going to use this. This is a video that I got from Pexels.com. P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Really easy. Boom. I'm going to hit play. Just like that, nice visualizer. This logo right here is X Lounge, it's my friend's uh, account. Uh, be sure to check out X Lounge on YouTube, X Lounge Music. Um, and it's just kind of like a watermark, you know? Um, and then if you want to add an additional visualizer, we can go over here. We got all kinds of different stuff. Uh, I'm going to just drop in this bad boy right here. I don't know, sure. Let's change the color of that. Let's go with red. Let's make it a little bit wider. Let's make the lines a little thicker. There you go. You know, you can change that. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, but we can change that to be a circle. There it is. Uh, so once you're done, you feel happy with that, you can just hit File, Export. And then uh, you got a couple different render options here. I usually like to go with Fast. 1080p 60 start export there you have it 